I'm Chris, you're watching Fragmental, thanks for joining me. Like many, I adore wearing citrus scents in the summer. They're refreshing, clean, invigorating, and smell great to everyone around you. So, in this video, I'm telling you about seven of my favorite summer citrus scents. Stay tuned. When it comes to citrus scents, of course, I want them to smell uplifting and invigorating, but I also want them to transport me to another place, whisk me off to a balcony in the sun with a perfect sea view. In, in my mind, they don't actually take you. Anyway, the fragrances I've chosen to talk to you about today all have this effect on me, so let's dive in. Terre d'Hermes, great fragrance, beautiful citruses, works really well in the summer, but this one takes that orange and freshens things up even more. It's Terre d'Hermes, Eau Très Fresh. So I described this one as having a melange of citrus notes. Why did I just say melange in that way? I don't know, it's quite a, quite a nice word to say, actually, melange. So it has a melange of citrus notes, but I would say orange is the most prominent, as in the original Terre de Mez. It also has this really refreshing, watery quality, so it comes about as close as any scent can to being thirst-quenching. Don't drink it, though. Just spray it on your on your skin. Like the original, it's very classy, but not in a statement-making kind of way. It doesn't scream, look at me. It's got a very easygoing nature about it. I think it's perfect to wear casually on a hot, sunny day. Maybe you're going down to the beach. Maybe you're getting the paddling pool out in the back garden. Eau Fresh is just made for warm, sunny days. So for me, this is the perfect, classy, but casual summer citrus scent. Speaking about classy citrus scents, this next one is probably the classiest on this list. From Aqua de Palma, it's Colonia Ascenza. The citruses listed in this one are bergamot, orange, grapefruit, and mandarin, but I'm sure I get some lemon out of this. It gives me this sort of fizzy lemon sherbet vibe. And actually, speaking of lemon, it reminds me of limoncello. And I remember the first time I ever drank a limoncello, I was in Italy. My wife and I were traveling around Europe and we were in Rome. We met a friend of mine who took us back to his house in the Italian countryside in these gorgeous hills. And he took us to this perfect rustic Italian restaurant. We had the most amazing pasta. And after that meal, we had limoncello and it went down a treat. I loved it. So this takes me right back there to that moment. The other great thing about this fragrance is it's filled out with floral notes and oak moss, so it's quite a full-bodied fragrance. It's not just a thin citrus scent, and because of that, it has pretty decent performance as well. I would wear this anytime. I could wear this casually, but for me, the perfect occasion would be a formal event in the summer, for example, a wedding, or maybe wearing it for uh, an evening meal out in a restaurant, in a nice restaurant in the summer, uh, which of course, you would finish by washing it down with a limoncello. The next one is an elegant and invigorating scent from the Tom Ford Private Blend. This is Mandarino di Amalfi Aqua. The citruses are, of course, mandarin, and then there's also grapefruit and bergamot. This is also filled out with some florals, and I love the classy impact that the vetiver has in this one. When I talk about this fragrance, people often ask me, why do I talk about the aqua version and not the original version? Well, the simple answer is, this is the version that I have. Uh, I'm not sure if I've even ever smelt the non-aqua version, but I like the price point on this. I like the nice frosted bottle. I think it looks a little more summery, but this is about half the price of other private blend fragrances. So the non-aqua version of Mandarino di Amalfi is about twice the price of this fragrance. And I'm not sure what the difference is. Maybe it's in performance, but is the performance twice as good as this to justify the price being double? Uh, the cost of this one. If you've smelt both the fragrances, please do let me know uh, what the differences are. I would be interested. All I know is that this gives me all the summer feels I need from a citrus scent. If you asked me what my favourite Roger Parfum scent for the summer is, well, that's an easy answer. It's Elysium. The citruses here are grapefruit, lemon, bergamot, and lime, which blend perfectly into smooth, 
fruity notes. There's also vanilla, benzoin and leather adding some weight to the base of this fragrance. But despite those notes, this is predominantly a bright, sparkling, refreshing scent with some of that trademark Roger Parfums sophistication thrown in. It's not quite a statement making as say Vetiver or Scandal. I think they maybe lean a little more formal, but this one has superb versatility. So I end up wearing it more often. This is bright, classic, refreshing, and you can wear it for absolutely any occasion. The next one is the most fun and mass appealing fragrance on this list from Chanel. It's a Laurent Edition Blanche. The citruses here are lemon and bergamot. You may have heard people comparing this to lemon meringue pie. That's because there's also vanilla and tonka bean, which give it this sweet dessert like quality. But don't worry if you spray this on, you're not just going to smell like a dessert because there is also that Chanel quality seamlessly blended into this and the alluring nature of the allure DNA. In short, this is sexy as hell and impossible not to enjoy. For a good quality, sexy, fun summer scent, I can highly recommend. New from Creed is the flanker to their cologne called Viking. It's called Viking Cologne. I guess technically both are colognes, but one is a bit more cologne than the other. It's Viking Cologne. Simple, really. The citruses in Viking Cologne are mandarin, lemon and bergamot. And I wouldn't describe them as sweet citruses. It's quite bitter. It's more like the rind of citrus fruits. There's also some herbal notes in here. So it has this lovely aromatic quality. I think this is brighter and more youthful than the original Viking. Smells a bit more modern. I love its versatility and mass appeal. It's not breaking the mold. It's not doing anything radically different. But if it did, I don't think it would be as easy to wear as it is. This is about as close as Creed come to a dumb reach, which is why I've given this one a fair bit of wear, because I um, guess I'm dumb. Remember I mentioned the balcony in the sun overlooking the perfect blue ocean? Well, this one is the one that gets me there in an instant. In my mind, not by magic. It's Dior Homme Cologne. The only listed citrus note in this is bergamot, but I bet there's more. There's got to be more than that. When I spray this, it takes me to that sunny balcony. But when I'm there, I'm drinking a glass of freshly squeezed orange juice and there's a gentle sea breeze blowing on my face. Oh, I'm there. There's almost something a little creamy in the base of this. Maybe it's the musks adding some pleasing depth and performance. But for me, there's a real elegance to the simplicity of this. This is perfectly executed simplicity. So simple but effective citrus scent, an absolute winner for the summer. So there are my favorite summer citrus scents. Let me know what yours are. I would love to hear from you. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful. Thank you very much for watching. Remember, keep tuning into FM, keep smelling good, and I hope you're having a great summer. I'll see you in the next one.